Yo, you know what it is. It's me, Supreme. Uh, There's the MPA. You know what it is. Yo, thank you to everybody who bought the MPA, making it really happen. You know what I'm saying? This is the MPA, Supreme MPA 1.0 on the Android market, in your phone, the drum machine. That's what it is, what it is, what it is. Yo, um, thanks to everybody who's supporting it, man. It's unbelievable, but yo... The uh, MPA Lite, yo, no lie, we got like a little bit over 30,000 people using our app, man, you know, and um, I appreciate that, man, a real dream, it came true, you know, me and my partner Ivan, we sat here for like two years banging this thing out, man, and we finally got it done, you know, we're going to keep doing updates, that's why I'm making this video, show you some updates to new stuff we added in here, I want to turn this into a real physical drum machine, alright, so... Well, I want to leave a mark when I leave this place, man. Supreme came in the game making music, helping people, and he left a drum machine, a real drum machine in my name for people to use way long after I'm gone, all right? So that's what it is, man, and um, um, I appreciate it for real. I really, truly appreciate this, man. So let's get to work. Let us um, let me show you the new stuff I added in here, all right? Peace. Okay, we got the help. Project. And song, we put the word, you know, in new, in parentheses, all right? Wow, that's the new stuff right there. All right, we're going to do help real quick. That's what it is, help. Frequent acts questions, that's it. You know, how to fix the latency issues and whatever, you know. Boom, if that don't work for you, all right, then email us, all right? There's the email address. Project, hit project. So you name a project, you could duplicate a project, you could delete a project. When you delete a project, it deletes everything. All your samples, everything is deleted. Then the current project. Here it says Supreme Role. That's the current project. You could have up to 99 projects. All right? One project at a time. So right now I got a couple of projects in there. All right? You can make a new project. So if you hit new project and you give it a name... New, right? You hit new, you hit create, it'll create it, all right? Now when, when it creates the new project, there will be no samples, nothing. You got a clean slate, all right? You see, there's no names on the pads, there's nothing on the pads. It says project new, that's it, all right? So you can start brand new and start throwing samples in there and do your thing. Go back, project. Um, if you, you know, making those down south beats and you need 808, then set yourself up, you know, a project with 808s. You know, it got a load. Of course it got a load. If you got a, 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 a physical drum machine, an MP or whatever, you, it got to load. It loads just the, the same way. All right, there you go. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to choose the project that I'm working on for this lesson. All right, so it's Supreme Roll. So it's going to load. Got a few samples in there. And remember, your project is all of your sequences. All of your sequences. Um... All your samples and your song belongs to that project. So this is something I'm working on right here. I already made the beat. Here go the samples. Let me you hear. Um, I named it J for a reason because I used the sample that Jay Z used. It ain't J sample. It's from somebody else. Jay used it. Now I'm using it. So don't get all twisted. <laughs> Remember that? All right, so you know, I got my. I got that, you know. Here we go. Let y'all hear it. That's all it do. Is it just a two bar beat? That's what it do. So I'm going to add the intro to that beat. Oh, I want to show you this. And I'm going to start it out with a roll. We added the roll feature. See that button? Roll. Hit roll. Is that 1-8? Eight? 
Uh, I'm going to set it at, matter of fact, I'm going to leave it at 1.8. But look, I'm going to show you real quick, 116, right? Without it even playing, just hold the beat down. Hold the pad down. There you go. That's what it is. All right, so I'm putting the hi-hat in. I already know it came out perfect. I'm gonna hit do it so it can stay. When you use roll, if you look, the seat, the quantize change too. When you change the roll, the quantize change. All right, it have to change so that when you hit the roll, the roll will be quantized. It'll be on point. Okay, I turned the roll off. Now I gotta go to quantize and set the quantize because it turned the quantize off. So I want the quantize on 116 so I can add that in. There you go, right there. Let's go back to this sequence one. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I always do this to make get my beats done quick, and I do it in my MPC, and um, I could do it in my MPA. All right, so I got sequence. It's already selected. Copy. Right. Then I go to sequence two. Paste. Now it's J one one. Right. Now, I can copy that one and keep going. It'll be J111, but um, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it right. I'm going to go back to one, and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go choose pattern three. So it's now it's pattern three. I mean, sequence three is J12. Here we go. That's all I want to add. Right? I don't like the first one. Well, matter of fact, look, it came out good. I'm going to hit do it. It's just like the MP. I love it. When you make a mistake, the, the app actually fix it for you. The quantize fix it. Boom. Sometimes the mistakes come out hot. Sometimes they don't. Now we're going to move to the next sequence. I'm doing this because... This is what I'm going to use to show you how the song mode works. All right, so bear with me. So here we go. We got three. On this one, I'm going to do some change up too. But this time, I'm going to use that. All right? You see the, 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 the sound is named um, Lab. So that track is Lab. So them samples is on track two. So I'm going to hit record. If I hit overdub, I can overdub that on that track, but I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to erase the entire track while I record at the same time. Record something new. All right, here we go. That's it. I'm going to use this sample, that sample, that real short sample to cut off this long song. Okay, now let's, uh, All right. Let's, go, let's just do a little boogie woogie. That man. sample, I'm gonna use that sample to cut that sample off. And this, those samples go together. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make them all cut each other off. All right, here we go. All right, that comes from Roy Ayers. I hit edit. It got a cut. The cut is off. So you su hit select, highlight the off, hit edit. I never use zero zero. I use one. All right, you can, and it goes look. So you can do a whole bunch of pads, all kind of different ways. All right. So you can use that cut, different numbers for different pads, have different arrangements. All right. So I got one. So that one is set. I'm gonna hit sample again. Go back. I want it to cut off. I want these two to cut each other off. It works vice versa. They cut each other off. If they have the same number. They cut each other off. All right, so same thing. Highlight, select, give it a one. Again, now I want that okay. Here we go, right here. Okay. Select. Edit. One. Right, back. 
Now, they'll cut each other off. Let's see how it works. Okay, That's it. See how long it is? See, I'm listening to the hi-hat. I'm gonna go with this key. I can go with any key. I'm just gonna go with this key right here. All right? Let's record it. I just wanted to play one time. We're gonna get that sample and I'm gonna tune it. Edit. I'm gonna, well, I said tune is the pitch. We're gonna change the pitch. To, to get it to match that hi-hat, all right? So I'm gonna hit play. And you can hear the glitch too, all right? So, uh, um, sorry. You can hear the glitch, you gotta hit edit. Let's see if it, it needs to go fast. Now you see when I'm turn, moving it like that, it's counting by tens, I'm gonna hit milli, millisecond. So it'll count by ones, cause it's not that Diff much of a difference, all right? So let's see if that works. 104, the pitch out. No, it don't work. All I got to do is to stop it and stay in that mode is just hit play again. Let's go slow. Let's see what that go do. But it works, but it's a little bit, you know, let's try 93. There you go, we got it. All right, now we're gonna to go to one of the new features. So here we go. There's the intro. Right, remember, that's the intro. So I want the intro. I could put it anywhere. I could put them up, down, like that. I wanna get rid of it. All I gotta do is select one. I can select this one. I can hit range and it, and it, it you know, it'll, it'll, it'll capture some of them and, or I could just do them by hand. The ones that selected will be erased. That's how it works, all right? Um, I want to magnify it, make it bigger so I can get these things in the place where I want them. So that's it. One of one sequence, that represents a sequence. Let's see how it sounds. Right here, if you hit render, it'll say as a wave or MP3. Let's see what we got. It's going to play once. That's it, right? Hit back. Let's choose the main beat. I could put that and it gives it represent is represented by a different color. If I want, I can hit that and duplicate it. Right? If I want to bring it in, I could just tap. Because this one is select, that's the active sequence. So it'll keep on adding because that's the active one. So now I'm gonna add another one. Uh that um it was a change up, right? I could add the change up on the same line. I could add the change up up here. I could add the change up anywhere. That's why it's four tracks. So you can do it whatever way you want. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter, all right? So that's the change up. Let's add that horn thing in there, man. That's only one bar. Make it, make it bug out for a minute. I'm gonna add it up there. I can add it here if I want. I'm gonna add it twice. I'm gonna add one here. I'm just bugging out, just having fun, man. Just do what you want. Let's go and add sequence, this other sequence. I'm gonna add that one here. That's not that, the one I want to add because it's already here. I want, it's a different one I wanna add. I wanna add this one, right? There you go. It's green, all four, all of them is there, right? All represented in their own color. Let's hit. Render and see what we got. 
I'm gonna do it as a wave because wave is faster because the samplers is already a wave. So, you know, it don't have to do too much. It just puts it together. If you do MP3, it takes long because they got to convert the wave into an MP3. That's what it is. Now, that last one here, I can make that longer, right? Just by tapping, right? Now check it out. If I wanna bring, now that's the active sequence. This see, this one here, I wanna bring it to the back. I wanna add it. I could dub it, it brings it back there. You gotta make sure it's unselected. Cause as long as it's selected, it'll keep dubbing, right? All right, so that's that one is there. I want this to come in. I'm going to dub it. It adds it to the back. Dub it again. Dub it one more time. And add it again. You know? I want that horn thing to come in. Dub it. It adds it again. I want this to come in. Dub it. All right? If you want to do MP3, we could do MP3. MP3 takes longer. But it's good because the file is real small and we put a feature in there. Since it's small, then you can email it to your friends. Okay, so once it finished, it's gonna ask you, you know, you can ask you could actually set the default, but I didn't. I wanted to leave it like this to show y'all. So you can choose whatever player you got. Some people got a whole bunch of media players. I'm gonna use the one that came with my phone. So there you go, it plays it all over again. Same thing, but this time it's an MP3. All right, y'all already heard that, but this is what I wanted to show y'all. Right here, share beat. So if you hit yes, then it'll bring up from your phone, you know, ways to share, Bluetooth, your Gmail, your, you know, your regular email, and you, you can send it out, all right? Email it to somebody, share. Share like I share. But now I wanna show you one more thing and we done. I didn't show y'all because I forgot. All right, so you hit project, is this button here, export to wave. And here is a little, is different from song mode. It, you, and it tells you, you know, use song mode if you want to make a song, blah, blah, blah. Boom, but in here, you could export one sequence at a time. But what's good about it, I could take those different sequences, export them, put them in my computer, load them in Pro Tools, and go crazy with it. I have more control in Pro Tools, all right? So I can select, let's just select the main beat, J1. It says repeat times. Right now it's gonna repeat one time. I want it to repeat eight times. So it's a two bar loop, I'm gonna repeat eight times, export it. See how fast that was? It's that easy, all right? Um, tell your friend, tell your foes, tell your mama, your sister, everybody. Hit that little Facebook thing right there and, you know, log in and tell everybody about, you know, the great things Supreme is doing, all right? Uh, look out for my man. Look out for my man, all right? Thank you for getting the app, you know, Supreme MPA. What? Shout outs to Dark Stars, my new website, uh, mpabeats.com. Um, shout out to Ivan. Shout out to the gold miners. Shout out to my man in Florida, Simon Ruthless. Of course, Wu Tang, Hellraiser, dude getting better. I love you, son. Baz, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's Pre. It's Pre NBA. It's what it is, man. And yo, share and be kind. It's holiday season, man. Let's let's enjoy ourselves. Yo, peace, man. I love y'all. One.